I think the first thing is that we want to, that we might actually start to see that this film might hold something which is quite important for us, and it did, indeed it won't be necessarily hostile to, um, to people of faith and indeed uh, to our faith in Jesus and to the kingdom that he proclaimed. So that's the first thing. The second thing I think that really helps is that we, um, we go armed with uh, as much knowledge about the film as we, we can get. So I think very few Christians should go to the cinema without having film critics that they trust. Some of them be Catholic, others might be more secular, but we've come to trust their judgment. Loads of people just go to the cinema and while they're looking up at the screen of what's on, decide then to go what to go and see. They're almost always, in, um, well, sometimes they're delighted, but generally they're disappointed because they haven't done enough work in terms of uh, consumer education. And the third thing is that we have the eyes of faith. Some of the things in film, even if the director or writer didn't intend it, can have a terrific resonance with, uh, uh, with the gospel story. For instance, in the book I uh, go on to show how things like um, the cardinal virtues of justice, fidelity, self-care, prudence, the Christian values of mercy and hospitality. Thomas Aquinas tells us wherever they are, the named or not, Christ is present because they're so there's such building blocks in the kingdom of Christ for the world. So that means for us as Catholics and as Christians that it doesn't have to quote the Pope or talk about the Bible or talk about Catholic things for it, in fact, to be about what we're about. If it's about justice, fidelity, self-care, prudence, mercy or hospitality in a good way, in an uplifting way, then it's actually singing our Catholic hymnody. It's actually, we're singing from the same hymn sheet and so it's taking that seriously. One of the things I like saying is I don't canonize the media. I know enough about it to be chapter and verse about how dreadful it is and how insidious and destructive it can be. I don't canonize it, I just take it very seriously. And I think Christians should as well.